Looks like Al Carroll did a great job on this foundation for our greenhouse. Al, thanks for your help. And joining me today is Craig Eggers from Garden Style. Craig, placement. Tell me what's important to know about choosing an area. You've done a good job, Teresa. You've got good sun exposure. The sun or the fence and the house gives you a nice break from the wind. And it looks like you've done a good job with your foundation. Yeah, and this is real important that your foundation is level before you get started. It truly is. We're building a greenhouse this morning and next door they're constructing a shopping center. So we're all busy this morning. Let's take a look in our packages and see what we've got. Let's do it. Craig, this greenhouse is really based for a do-it-yourself project. Yes, it has. Juliana's made this quite simple for the backyard gardener to assemble. Yeah, they've prepackaged each section, so that's going to make for an easy installation. And the instructions are really quite simple. I'll turn to page four here, which is a start. Here we show Teresa package number one, which is a front gable, and that's right here. Here's package number two, which is a rear gable. Here's package three and four, which are the side walls. Once we have all these assembled, we'll take them and then tie them together with the nuts and bolts provided. And uh, then we will in turn use the polycarbonate panels back here for the glazing material and we'll be all set. Well, you really can't go wrong with these instructions because they're so detailed. They're all pictorial and quite easy. Great, well let's get started with package right. one. We're working on the front gable of our greenhouse and this is what was in package one. Craig, why would somebody want to build a greenhouse anyway? Well, first of all, Teresa, it allows them to have a controlled growing environment. And secondly, depending on what zone you're in, if you're in the northern part of the country, it allows you to extend your growing season about six or eight weeks. And if you're in the southern part of the country, of course, you can grow year round. Well, that makes it ideal for the hobbyists then. They can yes, continue it, growing all year. Yes, it does. We're going to work on the front gable and then from here we'll move to the back gable. And then we'll assemble the side walls and we'll put it all together. And I told you they made the installation really easy. If you'll just follow this picture to the T, this will show you exactly how to lay this out. And they've pre-drilled the pilot holes for you, so that's where you put your nuts and your bolts. All right, Teresa, that's nice and square. All right, let me tighten this up. It's important that you square your walls as you go. This will save you a lot of problems later. It certainly will. And this is our third wall that we're working on. This had a lot fewer pieces than the two gables. Now we can get started on our fourth wall. I'll get it. Okay. Now that we've got our four walls assembled, we can start putting this together. Craig, I understand now why we put the extra nuts and bolts in here. Yes. This just slides right down in there, and I can tighten that up. After we get our four walls up, what's next? We put the ridge pole on, the roof struts, and then we proceed to put the polycarbonate in. Craig, this ridge pole that we're putting on seems like a heavier gauge of aluminum. Is there a reason for that? Yes, there is, Teresa. It's designed to be withstanding the heavy snows and heavy wind gusts of northern climates. It's really the backbone of the entire structure. We're getting ready to install the window vents in our greenhouse. And actually, you may think that's defeating the purpose of heating it, but that's not the case. It isn't, Teresa. The question is not how you heat a greenhouse, but how do you cool it? And both the window vent and the doors allow those hot airs to escape. Sure, that's understandable. And we're also using a twin wall polycarbonate panel to glaze our greenhouse. This blue film that you see is protecting it during chipping, but also the color is indicating that this is the side that needs to be the exterior. Why is that so important? The reason being, this side has been treated to uh, block out the harmful ultraviolet rays and also to help stabilize the polycarbonate. Okay, well we have just a couple more things that we need to do before we insert the panel, so let's keep moving. Teresa, now we're gonna take this gray gasket and apply it to the polycarbonate. What it does, it keeps both the insects and the dirt out of the channels. As you can see, it slides rather easily right along the top. You'll need to run a thin bead of silicone around three sides of your window frame. And once you're done with that, Teresa, we then take the polycarbonate panel and we'll insert it in the bottom. There we go. Lock it in. We'll make sure now that the silicone is adhering to both the aluminum profile and the polycarbonate, and we'll do the same thing with the door panels. Teresa, the window vent is self-hinged and it slides right down the ridge pole. And it has this push rod which will allow you to adjust the opening height of your window. Let's go get that door hung. This is my last screw for the door. Craig, why don't you give it a try? Oh, good. That slides nice and yeah, smooth, it Teresa. Does. Well, let's put these panels in and we're on the home stretch. I think you're right. For the rest of your panels, it's not necessary to put silicone around the frame. What you need to do is snap in the top gasket and also the bottom gasket first. 
And once those are snapped in, Teresa, I'll take the polycarbonate panel, put it in the bottom gasket, and then just pop it into the top like this. And this goes in easy. Now we're going to follow up with the gasket on the side. It's a vertical gasket. I'll get this started right here. Okay, and this... now we can just pop this in. Let's yeah, snap it in and locks all in the way also. down. There you go. And we'll follow this same process all the way around. Well, we finally got all our panels in, and you can see how strong and sturdy they are. You're right, Teresa. It's guaranteed against hailstones, baseballs, or even kids' hockey pucks. <laughs> Imagine that. Well, one of the last things that we need to do is pre-drill some pilot holes so we can attach this greenhouse to the base. Okay, thank there you. There you are. Let me just... Craig, the reason that we want to attach this greenhouse down is because it doesn't weigh very much. You're right. It weighs just over 100 pounds, and we have to make sure it's secure to the base so it won't blow away. I think that's it. Then we'll work our way around and finish the rest of it. Okay, let's do it. Well, I'm just putting the finishing touches on our greenhouse. These are the end caps for the built-in rain gutter, and this is going to allow you to redirect your rainwater. Craig, I had a lot of fun on this project. It was fun, Teresa. How long is this supposed to last? Well, the guarantee is 12 years, but it should last you a lifetime.